Is France a failed state? Well, I'd argue that it is. And it's these riots in particular that are proving it. You see, France does as she is told. Her president is the lapdog of the EU. He doesn't make a move without the say-so of the unelected bureaucrats in Brussels. And he doesn't really answer to the French people who elect him. And their open borders are a result of being a member state of the European Union, which has let in millions of migrants, mainly North Africans, especially Algerians. Of course, we all know that these people are using France as a launching station at Calais to enter the UK illegally over the English Channel. And it's estimated that uh, it's these people as well who are engaged in the rioting and the looting, which is still ongoing. Now, these events were warned years ago by people on the right of French politics and by the French military. But subsequent French president ignored all the warning signs and carried on as usual. They wanted to please their EU paymasters. And the warnings given by people now demonised by the ignorant woke leftists are now on full display for everyone to see in France. Because we are seeing the destruction of the French state, we are seeing the destruction of French communities and the destruction of important historical buildings. So in effect it's an assault on the French Republic and the French state has been disarmed from doing anything about it thanks to woke uh, political policies. Now equally disturbing is the sympathetic response to what's happening by woke Western intellectuals, and I'm using my fingers here <laughs> as inverted commas, and brainwashed liberal useful idiots uh, towards the migrant rioters. And they are far more sympathetic uh, towards the migrant rioters than they were to the ordinary working class gilets jaunes or yellow vest protesters who were unhappy with Macron raising the retirement age. And coincidentally, Macron came down like a ton of bricks on the yellow vests. He pulled out all the stops. He got the army in, the police, riot uh, officers, everything to squash these people. And he did. Now, I'm getting a sense coming from the left waffer in the West that France deserves this. What's happening to it? The rioting, the looting, the burning, the assaults because of its colonial past, especially its involvement in Algeria. So if you're on social media and you're on Twitter, and I've seen it myself, tweets from Islamists and even Ian Miles Chung, a reporter or journalist with Rebel News of all organisations, blaming the West's and France's old colonial pasts and invading North African countries and taking them for everything they've got so now the western countries and france deserve what's happening to them which in that case makes it all about revenge it's not the death of a 17 year old joyrider at the hands of the french police this is all about historical revenge which means this isn't going to stop overnight now there are media blackouts and social media blackouts in certain areas of france this has been brought in by macron because the fool believes uh, the migrant rioters are using social media to coordinate their attacks. Of course, it's completely flown past his head that they can just use their mobile phones. What an idiot. Now, an opinion poll, and I'm not a fan of polls. Polls aren't really accurate. After all, opinion polls told us that Hillary Clinton was going to win the US presidency back in 2016. She didn't. Trump did. And opinion polls told us that Brexit was an impossibility. We were going to remain, and in fact, we voted to leave. So I don't have much faith in opinion polls. However, looking online, opinion polls are saying that the French would have more faith in Marine Le Pen if there was a general election tomorrow. And speaking of nationalists, there are gangs of French nationalist youth roaming the streets of Paris and France as a whole to repel migrants, rioters and looters. So the fact that Macron still hasn't sent the army in should tell you everything. He's probably been told to hold them back by his uh, Brussels EU masters because it's quite evident the guy simply cannot think for himself, can he? 
And it's a shame watching a great country like France becoming a failed state and unable to defend itself because of woke political policies. It really is a great shame. And there we go. That's my video. Yet another one on the, uh, the French riots. I think this story will continue. And it's continuing because somebody somewhere wants France destroyed. And that's that. That's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.